I'm Andy Pilgrim with Automobile Magazine, and I'm here at NCM Motorsports Park today with a Porsche Cayman GTS, and I'm gonna be taking it on track. I love driving the Porsche Caymans. Um, I've driven the 718s and the 718s. This will be my first time really driving, especially on track, with a GTS, so I'm really looking forward to it. These things are really well balanced. And what I mean by that is when you're turning in and things start to slide a little bit, whether it's understeer or oversteer, it, you can catch the car and you can bring the front back to meet the rear. You can bring the rear back a little bit to meet the front and you get a nice sort of two to four wheel slide through the corners. It's very easy to control and it's a, a heck of a lot of fun, that's for sure. So this one has some upgrades. The GTS comes with um, you know, some lighter weight stuff, uh, some options that you'd have to pay quite a lot of money for on a 718S. You get it all for standard. You get the seats, you get some weight reduction, you get lowering of the suspension, you get 15 more horsepower over the regular 718S. This one has actually upgraded ceramic brakes. This is a nice brake setup. It'll be great on track. We won't have any issues with, uh, with brakes whatsoever. Of course, these cars don't have brake issues anyway but the carbon brakes are nice because you don't have any dust on them. It looks very familiar Porsche on the front. I mean, there's an awful lot of 911 in the front of a Cayman. Nothing wrong with that. People that like Porsches, everything, they want everything to look like a 911. So it's good. These seats are fantastic on long trips and also um, they hold you in very well on the racetrack. This one comes with the PDK option gearbox. That means it's gonna accelerate quicker. It's gonna do a quicker zero to 60, quicker quarter mile but you also gain 66 pounds of weight. But if you have the stick shift for some reason, not sure why, um, 309 foot pounds of torque, we have the PDK, you have 317. I don't mess with it on track. I don't even use the paddles on track. The car is so intuitive, you, you just let it do its thing and you always find yourself in the right gear. You have the selecting ride. You can go from basically the, the regular touring, what I call it, to sport and then sport plus. The exhaust, uh, you can have the exhaust of the sport exhaust. These, I think these sound very good with the sport exhaust. Another thing with the, with the Cayman, you'd imagine mid-engine, don't have much storage space, but actually has a, quite a bit of storage space. There's about almost six cubic feet of storage, uh, which, is, which is a lot. Um, I've seen actually a fully grown man get in there at one time, one of the journalists just for a joke, and we locked him in there and we were, we were threatening to leave him in over lunch, but we didn't actually do that. Even though it's a mid-engine car, and of course that's the biggest difference between these and the 911s, the Caymans and the Boxsters are a mid-engine vehicle, you actually have a good amount of room in here. You know, a flexible travel bag of golf clubs, for instance, it'll definitely go in here. I think the convenience of this thing is, is underrated as far as being a really good GT car, as far as touring and performance. So it's not my favorite color by any means, but I'll tell you what, it's probably the safest color you can have on the road. The color's not the only thing that stands out. The handling on this Cayman GTS is exceptional. To that point, let's take it on track. Coming into turn one, 365, pushing it down the straightaway, 136 coming in there, that's pretty good. This thing is great. You can see my hands not moving a whole lot. These cars are renowned for being on rails. It'll, my hands will move more than that. Coming up to turn two, heavy on the brakes. This one does have the carbon brakes, which uh, we did talk about earlier, and the brakes, just no issue. You just play them, uh, kind of went the wrong side of the curb there. That's, that's, that really is the quick line. <laughs> you don't really gain any time there. <clears throat> anyway, coming into turn five, 130 coming in there. Now the PS4S tires are very very good but they're not as sticky as something like a Michelin Cup 2 so the speeds there on just around under 100 miles an hour is still good but that's really a, a, a factor of mechanical grip nothing to do with the Cayman. Used a lot of the curb in 7 and watch my, well, my hands did hardly move which says a lot about the suspension and compliance on this car is just just perfect. These cars are, are so fun to drive. to 10 just watching my hands there nice and patient hit the curb a little bit it that's that's as good as you can do through there it's one of those corners you can mess it up really easily if you get too aggressive over the curb there and my hands didn't barely move over the curb you can't do that with some of the cars with stiffer suspension like an RS or something you can't do it, it upsets the car too much coming over tabletop are we gonna hit 130 one oh yeah 133 oh very quick through 15, actually really quick. Uh, the car was moving out around a lot when I tried to delete the speed. Coming out of 16 into 17. Yeah, going well, down downhill to 18. 
almost, yeah, almost high 80s into there. It's very good. Now it's just all about mechanical grip through 18 and uh, 18 and 19, down through the sinkhole, up through 20. Just again, always talk about patience through here. Don't know. I knew I was going to use a lot of curb there. Got away with that. Get it set in and just nail it coming out onto the straightaway. Over 90 miles an hour, really good with the PS4S. The car was sliding quite a bit, but again, you can keep these cars on a nice slip angle. And that is a really quick time. 216.49, 365 horsepower with a PS4S tire, which is not the stickiest tire Mitchell and make. Great tire, but uh, that is a phenomenal time. 216.49. For 2018, the Porsche GTS is the top of the Cayman line. It's a great package, all around package. Great engine, great sound, superb gearbox. It looks good, handles very, very well. I really, really enjoy the Cayman GTS.